What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm with the one, the only, Toronto's very own Sparta King here. And we're actually at the Waterloo Regional. But before we get into this deck profile, I do want to say one thing, okay? We talked about it. First of all, check out his channel. A link will be in the description below, of course. But also, he's been going to like locals pretty much every day, right? Uh, yeah, for the past week. And he's come first place at every single locals and he just recently top 32 to Toronto Regionals last weekend or something like that, right? So, uh, yeah. yeah, so you top the regional, you win your locals first place every single time, and you're currently X1 at, at this regional, yeah. hopefully you do well, and you are playing Drytron today. Yeah. So you, you've seen a lot of success with this. Um, it's a very strong deck. The, the Toronto Regional, which I came top 32, I think my exact place was 19 or yep. something. Uh, it was actually my first event with the deck, and I think that speaks to how strong the deck actually is. Yeah. Because um, once you get around how to properly pallet and stuff, it can really do just pretty crazy stuff. Yep. Do you want to go right into it? All right. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. Cool. So first off, obviously, we're running three copies of Alpha. Um, of course. This is super self-explanatory. You know, Alpha Search is your the ritual. You want to see this as much as possible. We have three copies of Zeta. And then, um, yeah, Alpha Zeta, bread and butter. And you want to prioritize um, getting to Zeta. Zeta can be even more important than Alpha to get the ritual spell. So even sending this with um, Fafnir is usually what you're going to be doing and stuff like that when you don't send Gamma. So this is really cool. And then I'm actually running three copies of Gamma. I know a lot of people like Interesting. getting two. Interesting, yeah. I find that I want to see two names as much as possible because I just need two names to do the combo that I'm playing, um, which is different from a lot of lists. So I really do like having three Gammas. And to go with that, I'm playing three all case so oh. we're maxing out on all of the names and this gives us the highest probability of seeing two names in our opening hand um yeah all taste is by far the worst one yama gets your follow-up and then these two are your engine starter and so on very very strong love and i don't think i would change their issues on these at all yeah before we continue we were talking before we did the deck profile a lot of this is actually mathematically put yeah. together <laughs> It's all um, using a calculator and math and stuff, you know, and a lot of testing. So, so, yeah. So, this is mathematically correct? I think so. It's the highest probability of using two to three names, which is optimal for I mean, if you came first place for a week straight, top 32 to regional, it must be doing something good. All right. All right, let's get into it. Awesome. So, next up, after the names, uh, we have all the Drytrons, yep. and then you have your Fairy Pack. And so, we're running one copy of the Diviner. Um, most people run three copies. I'm playing a Vanny's Ruler build, so only one is necessary. I don't think two is even good in a ruler because you're only searching one of this card at most. Yep. And I've never seen myself wanting more than one copy. Makes sense. We have one copy of Herald of the Orange Light. You can search this as an additional interruption. And it's really cool. I like this card. But once again, I don't think you need more than one copy of this card. Same as Diviner for the exact same reason. One Lancia. If you really wanted to run a second orange, you can drop Lancia for it, but this deck has a tough matchup with Thunder, and this is searchable. So. I really like the Lancia attack here. Yeah, like, searchable Lancia, incredibly strong against so many decks, and I, I really like it, so yeah. Yep. And at the very worst, it's another discard for Renegade, so it's nice. Yeah. And finally, we have one copy of Vanny's Ruler. Only, like, by far one of the best cards in current Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. So this card is so crazy. Just can't special summon this hard out almost every deck in the format except for Thunder. And when it comes to Thunder, you just end on other cards instead. So yeah. this card's really strong. And you just search it with Benten. Speaking of Benten, we have two copies of Benten over here. Yep. Um, to go with Benten, one Idaten, and one Natasha. So this is it for us, Cyber Angels. Out of all these, Benten is incredible, but Natasha is the only reason why I play this deck. Without Natasha, I would not be playing Jerichon right now. Okay. Um, this card hard outs every single card in the game, especially paired with um, Dark Lord and stuff. It gains life points in time, and this comes up every single game. And having Idaten for the third seal with Natasha is the craziest thing just in general. And Benten at two gives the deck a massive push forward. Yeah, yeah, they gave you this back. Straight up. Yeah, it's it's incredible. So I really love this, and I wouldn't mess with this lineup at all. Okay. All right, so um, next up we have one copy of Herald of Perfection. Yep. Usually on your end board, you're ending on one copy of Perfection, backed up by Ruler, backed up by um, IP, with two to three negates on Perfection. So Perfection... That's nuts. Up, it, yeah, you can't break it unless you have um, droplets for three. Yeah which my opponent in the game that I lost to had, so nice. That's just broken. Or you have um, Dark Ruler, but if you Dark Ruler me and negate all of my effects, I'm not taking any damage that turn, and I guarantee will kill you in the follow-up because of my... You'll have all your Drytrons in your graveyard at that point anyways, There's right? There's no way I'm losing if you Dark Ruler. So if you want to run Dark Ruler and Dark Ruler me, go ahead, I invite it, I'll kill you next round. Okay. All right. Um, next up, we have one top of Draconids. This card's broken. I find this is what makes the deck so good against Scythe Um If they Scythe you, you just bait their negates, make Draconids, 
and then attack into every single one of their monsters because they put it just breaks attack. the whole board. Yeah, and it kills them yes. because straight up they just don't have enough life points. Um, yeah, so it was Ziamen and all their monsters on board. The 600 is relevant because it's for exact game, which is sick. Look so, at this math, bro. So the 600 is exact game. It's it's very good. Like that's I crazy. This card. You have to run it. That's crazy. All right. Oh, and fun thing. It's yeah. a machine ritual, so this does turn on your negate with Fafnir. Oh, it so makes don't sense. Forget that. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have our spell cards. So three copies of Dread Charnova. I was on two copies for a bit. I think three is more correct because you want to maximize the amount of names you're seeing. Okay. And to go with that, we have one Medionis and one Fafnir. You can run two Fafnir if you really want, but I don't want to be clogging up on all the spells. Makes sense. Yeah. Next up, we have three copies of Cyber Emergency. Of course. I don't need to explain this. The only thing I'll say about this is for all of the people who don't know, this does have an effect where if you negate the activation, you can discard a card, add it back to your hand. So you can pitch a Dreadtron and then add a Dreadtron from deck, go the Dreadtron effect in the graveyard, discarding the Dreadtron that you have in uh, hand that you searched. So this card's really crazy. Uh, don't forget about that. Definitely mandatory through. Next up, we have our preparation package. So three copies of uh, preparation of rights. This card can search you anything you're missing. So it adds you Benten, we don't have Alpha. It adds you Perfection, if you don't have access to Perfection. It gets you an extra negate with Perfection if you have access to everything. Yep. And this card never feels bad in your hand. You want to max out on this because it's incredible. To go with that, we have three copies of the Pre-Preparation of Rights. This card, if you open both of these, you're golden. Because you can go Pre-Prep, search um, Herald and Dawn, Prep, add Benten. Go Dawn Tribute Benton from hand, summon Herald. Chain Link 1 Benton, um, Chain Link 2 Dawn, add back the Benton and search, so you just want like plus 3 for nothing. That's insane. It's very good, and you have to run this card in my opinion. It's yep. absolutely crazy. And obviously, to go with it, we have the one copy of Dawn of the Herald. Of course. Yeah, just straight up. Alright. Next up. We have in the main deck, and this is a bit weird, but I love it. We have three copies of Dark Ruler No More. Broken comes up every single game. Um, incredible on the crackback against the opponent, and even just at any point, I never felt bad seeing this against even Flunder game one. Like, this is broken, this is your out to half the cards in the game. Yeah, and then we're also running one copy of Forbidden Droplets. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you use a calculator and you're seeing that you're running three copies of Dark Ruler, one droplet, and this is a 43 card deck, okay, um, you have the optimal chance of seeing at least one of these. Uh, backed up by two to three names, which is wow. all you really need. So that's the best shot you have in like by math, my math, unless it's wrong. But I think it's pretty and accurate. Mathematically speaking, <laughs> one droplet is the correct play. So yeah, this is my ratio for this. I really like this, and it comes up perfectly in my opinion. Beautiful. Oh, and I'm running a dark ruler at three instead of droplet at three because I feel like dark ruler right now is stronger. Because this straight up outs every single punk every card. Board, every board, every board. Sword Soul board, every board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I do like this more in my opinion. Oh, it's also really good into the ABC theory on yeah, exactly. all, all those boards. Literally those anything, boards. even like Mystic Mind, I'm sure you'll find this. Okay, scenario. sure, whatever. <laughs> all right. Next up, real decks, real decks. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we have one Called by the Grave, obviously just a generic one of, and then one Foolish diversifies your way to get into all of your Dry Of course, all your Dry names. And that's really good to go with Nova too. Just be careful with what you're sending because remember that the order changes if it's in the graveyard instead of in your hand. Yep. And that's it for the main deck. 43. So, 43 you said, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Super consistent and I, it's very good. Yep. All right, on to the extra. We have two copies of Dreadtron New Beta Fafnir. Yep. Um, new Beta Fafnir, you know, Beta. Yeah. It's, it's broken. So this is crazy because as I said, you need two to three names to combo. So once you have your two names, this gets you to the third one that you're missing, usually being Gamma, Alpha, or Zeta. I'll tell you this if you're just crazy and opened every other name in the game. Yeah. Um, aside from that, you can use the effect to substitute for a material when you're using on Medionis, which is incredible. And then backed up by the negate, which comes up with Draken is, is very, very good. Uh, you don't ever need more than two of this card. Though. All right, we have one copy of Beatrice over here. Beatrice is really cool. You can make this with your Cyber Angels and also the, um, what's it called? Herald. The Diviner, yeah, when yeah, you make Diviner. it on six, yeah. But I don't find it being the best. I like this more game two and three, and when I can send like token collector with it against Makes stuff sense. like Sword Soul, which is yeah. really good. We have one copy of Lyrilesque Assemble Nightingale to go with that one. Downard, um, Downard's really cool. You even make it off of a... Uh, you beta? Uh, yep. And it's really, I think, self-explanatory for that. One Zeus. Of course. 
just straight up with so many Xyz monsters, if you're not running Zeus, you're you're doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Next up for Link monsters, we have one copy of Anima. I'm not on Link Rebo. Link Rebo is incorrect. You want to run Anima because Link Rebo achieves nothing more than Anima does. Even if you're going first, summoning Anima, it doesn't matter. Just an extender and a combo piece. This it really is... doesn't. But going second, it's nuts. Yeah, nobody plays around. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. I stole like five monsters today. That's crazy. Uh, next up, one copy of IP. Uh, you make this on top of your end board. You don't always have to make this, but if you can, it feels really good to go into any of these in your opponent's turn. Uh, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Unicorn. Uh, something really cool about this, sometimes you go Unicorn, Co-Link with Phoenix, and then neither of these can be disturbed by Valor card effects, and then you draw two cards for turn. That's Acta crazy. By Ruler That's crazy. Good. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I love these cards, and for anyone who says that they don't make them, they're lying to you, because they come up so, so much in this yeah. format, in my opinion. All right. Oh, and also, if you get anti-spelled, this is your out. So that you makes have sense. You have, a, you have a deck for it. Yeah, yeah you have a deck out for it. two names into that. It's great. Yep. Finally, we have one copy of Brawl Sword. I'm not running Access Code. I don't think Access Code is nearly as good as Brawl Sword and Dreadtron because you have so much easier access to all of the high attack monsters. And with Sword, sure, you can target Unicorn, but you'll have to continue extending past that to get that extra damage. And um, Brawl Sword also lets you change your Ritual monsters back in defense too, in case you don't want to. Oh, true, yes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And then um, next up, one copy of Entes. Entes, you send this Diviner. Of course. Um, super cool play that I actually did with this card. My opponent at the Toronto Regional, he went exchange or something and gave me like a level 4 tuner. Yeah. And so I contact fused my um, Xyz monster and Black Rose, which they negated. Into Entes? Into Entes. When Entes effect special summon a level 4 from your hand, summon the level 4 he gave me, made some random Dreadron, synchroed off Entes, the level 4 tuner. And the Dreadron made Baron go Entis effect, pop one, Baron pop the other. That's so nuts. This card's crazy. That's nuts. Run this card. Next up, we have one copy of Herald of the Arclight. Yep. I would say, while most people think this comes up as much, I would say these come up an even amount. Like, yeah. they're both. I mean, if you draw into the ritual spells and stuff, like, you don't need the Herald or the ritual monsters, I should say. Straight right? up, and in yeah. a ruler build, like, you're not going to be summoning Diviner unless it's on turn three, regardless. Yeah. Like, turn three, Entis is just a better Better, card. yeah. And then for our final two synchros, you have one copy of Black Rose. This card's crazy. You make it with your, um, what's it called? Diviner and any Drytron name. Yep. And then just blow up everything. Uh, crazy against Despia, because they can't do anything. They force out their brand in red. And you just swing for games with Rolls And this is crazy against literally every other deck. I highly recommend trying this card out. I really like the OG Black Rose. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And then last card, obviously, Braun the Fleur. Uh, you can get away without running this card. You, it's actually not necessary at all. So you can definitely play the deck without Brawn. So even if you can't get Brawn, you're totally you can, good. You can play without it. 100%. Alright, do you want to show us a side deck? I know it's a different regional, but do you want to just show us a side deck? Sure, gladly. Um, we have three copies of Nibiru. Nibiru's crazy this format. Um, I would be maining it if I wasn't playing Dreadshot. That makes sense. Uh, it's very good. Hits half the decks just around. We have two copies of Token Collector. I would run three, but we have access to this one with Beatrice, yep. so you know it's fine. Two copies of Droll. Droll's crazy against Thunder, which is our hardest matchup, but we're not maxing out on Droll because we are running the Dark Pillars. And yeah, you have a main deck out for it, yeah. So you're fine, and then more going the second cards. Three Gamma, one Driver. I see this card way too much, but aside from that, this is crazy. This is incredible, and I saw it in every time I'm going second. Finally, because Mystic Mind is very popular. Unfortunately, format, it is, but yeah. Three copies of Twin Twister. Um, this is nice against any backer deck. Though. The quick play is also really good into like scythe locks because yeah, you can exactly. you can stand by phase it's Twister. Straight. Yeah, it's it's great. I love it. Yeah. And finally, one Harpy's Feather Twister. I was maining this before, but I cut it out to make space for the forty third card. To round the up droplet. The, the droplet. Exactly. The yeah. droplet. The math. And uh, that's basically it for the deck. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Okay. First of all, mm -hmm. uh, we're still at the regional here. So for anyone who's watching this, the regional is going to be over, but wish him luck anyways. Because if you wish him luck in the comments in the future, he's actually going to do well. Yeah, I appreciate So uh, it. yeah, good luck today. Congratulations on your top 32 regional in Toronto. Congratulations on your first place every single day, apparently. Because you're a freaking god, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, if you guys want to check out Sparta King, make sure to check him out. A link will be in the description below. We don't get to hang out too often, but that's why I like coming to these regional things. Because I get to see you, man. Hey. It's kind of nice. Of course, bro. All right, thank you for the deck profile. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe. And with that, Spanko and Sparta King signing out. <laughs> Peace. Right.
Get up, get up, we want you to get on your feet.